Oh god, I hope my commentary comes in better. I've had to readjust, because I realized the game owner is a little too loud. Sorry about that, I didn't realize that till now. And anyway, welcome back everybody to more X-Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is your host, the MJ4106. And well, we're back with Will Powers. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh! Oh, nothing! <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Oh god. Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Oh my god! This is no time for dead people jokes! Please! You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that, or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. That's right, pretty much all of our cards were stolen from us. Damn gumshoe. So we gotta hope we come up with anything, anything. Let's hope for the best. Court is now in session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. I'm curious, too. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Ah, uh, or that director. Works enough, I guess. Is that acne, or is he sweating his balls off? Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude could you get? You don't know me? I'm director! I make the skill set my noob! Oh, What's nerds a shame? Salmonella, I'm a director of television! We are global studios till the day of the murder! Yes, your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Well, gee, you are still our protege if this is what can happen. <laughs> Jeez, you can help me through death. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting at the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Hmm. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left the chairs. That's about it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. You're not giving a lot to work with here, buddy. Damn, tight-lipped son of a bitch. Let's see what we get here. Let's see. Hold it. Get all the info I can so I can get any detail. Is that when you always come into work, 9 o'clock? Oh, I know. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Including you. Still, if they I W, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Who's more about that? God, his nerdiness is a little annoying sometimes. Let's see, okay. Hold it! That's a good key point. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WD twists his ankle during the run through, see? Oh, right. That's the limp. Which, of course, led me to missing my lunch. RFS! Uh, RFS rolling on the floor... starving? At least you understand it! I guess? Jesus. Hold it. Hmm, you heard? What exactly do they have for lunch? Keyboard steak! He says it cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Of course. I had a meeting at a studio food trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Hold it. I saw plates there, though. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Does not something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, I was gonna say. Should I say it's contradictory, though? Yeah, there was food there. Yeah, 
It does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella! <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, I, 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 good call! Uh, I, I was embarrassed when I didn't mention it. <laughs> but I did eat, after all. A, a T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, he just went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. Don't make fun of his weight, I do that! Oh, God. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one right during that meeting. I wolfed it down then. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. I took a break in that meeting. That contradicts his testimony! I'll press on that one a bit more. Until around four o'clock. The opportunity no one left their chairs. Hold it! Hmm. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, not at one. Hmm. What are you sweating so much about, I wonder? I had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea? So yeah, I pressed him about something to get facts out. Now I know! You lied to me! Wait a second! Mr. Miller, you just contradicted yourself! Did you just tell the court you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops! I know! Well? Um, Mr. Bernola, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor? I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, it's your testimony, please. Heh, heh, heh. Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing. He caught me! Already? Unless he knows something I don't. It's like he wants me to fall for this crap. Yeah, if the way you took a break. Oh, but it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 base 12! Thanks for that. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. <laughs> oh well, it's only just enough time to eat team out safe. You ask me. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross examination. You don't think 15 minutes is enough time to eat team out steak? I think you underestimate people's eating abilities, Sir Judge. I could do that easily. I'm not gonna question that one. That's unnecessary. <laughs> This one sounds odd. Why is that? It's only just enough time to eat two more steak, if you ask me. Hold it! May as well press on that, too. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Oh my god, dude! Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy t on steak. You know, I have to take my time to eat that kind of food. Hello, well. Well, well, Phoenix? That testimony was too short to ring any kind of useful information out of. All I had to do was prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Hmm. Hold it. As well press everything. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I think it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30! That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Hmm. He knows that's what I'm looking at. Hold May as well look at the time length of time as well. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eat my keep on steak. What else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was Eva's. Sorry, uh, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. Do we eat a T-boat steak in 15 minutes? That's quite a feat. Maybe it's big. I guess I don't know. Hmm. Anything else? We just need to prove he was able to go there in that amount of time. Hmm. I wonder about that. Oh, the path was blocked off. Well, this is interesting. By the way, let me show you what happens when you guess wrong. Objection. If you happen to guess the wrong thing, like here, for example, your honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. Huh? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations to write. Oh no, my lies! Whoops! 
That didn't go so well. That's why you want to be very cautious with what you pick, because you can screw yourself over. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I wonder. I'm trying to think. I need to re look through the facts again. Objection! Oh, God! Have we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony of this boy has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. Oh, so he's tripping me up here now. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. You claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, if the monkey blocked in the road during the time of death, that can't have been the case. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break of the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way! I thought it was Mr. Monkey. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. <laughs> and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I was gonna say! I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manello from the stand. W what? It's over? Well, there's not really much more we're getting out of him. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We found there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the steel samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Another one? Oh, wait, I think I know. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. All right. Yep, it's little Hackins. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten-minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. Ah, Gotta rethink my strategy. I need to take a drink. Ah, My throat's already getting dry. The score has a lot of pressure on me right now. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M mia Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. Uh, you... thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. For the children everywhere, including the one that's about to testify. Oh, God. This has got to be an awkward moment for him, seeing his hero in the flesh. <laughs> Unless he's going to block it out of his memory. For his private session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. Prosecution calls Cody Hackett to the stand. Did, did you just say it the way I thought you did? 
Oh. Uh, huh. Your Honor, uh, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, but right. Good. Please bring my box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut crate. There he is. Hey, buddy. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Do it! Witness! What? You said you're going out to speed you can push me around! <laughs> ha! Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you! Nice lady! I'm Cody Hackett, I'm in second grade! I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. As if the old bag wasn't enough. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness. Er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> Makes sense. You were present, or you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us when you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you what grabs with that beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth, I prefer beer gentlemen myself. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. M my apologies, Your Honor. He said he would testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid, and you lost? Hey, I just got his new camera. Don't really know how to use it while I could yet. I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. Ah, fair point. You did take a picture, after all. Very well, Cody. We just testified in the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Well, now I gotta hear the testimony of a kid. This is gonna be interesting. I might see a still samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the months on the maps so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out of my studio, there was the steel samurai. It totally rocked! Wait for my eyes, how came the bad guy? Of course, the steel samurai took him down! How? If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a son, I tell you! Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Huh? Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination, but be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. <laughs> I mean, look at the- look at that freaking Lawrence Payne prosecutor or whatever. He sucked. <laughs> really, he sucked. So let's see. He never saw a rehearsal before, though, huh? He used the internet to get the map. He got lost in the studio. Got lost in the way. And then he saw the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before he hung in. I think I went up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Well, you're wrong. Remember my eyes? Okay, the bad guy. Interesting. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person. Tiny, tall, skinny. Hmm. Are you sure? It was, are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. Hmm. It's being awfully vague. Oh, uh, me to text something. Hold it. Hey, so I'll keep pressing on it. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Oh, well, well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. Hmm. Why do you say it that way? Hold it. This is the one that's getting me a little curious. If you had your camera, I mean, you were carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I'm it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out. He went home. Phoenix. Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. You happen to have a way of kids, apparently. So, yeah. This is a big one. But didn't he say he always had every victory seen in every battle he won? Objection! I mean... Your Honor, what do you think about this witness's statement? Uh, don't you really follow? It clearly, uh, contradicts the, uh, I thought... Nope! You don't sound very convinced, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled! I don't think that won me any points to the judge. Damn it! Hmm... Maybe? Objection! Uh-oh, I'm getting a little gambly here. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor! I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. 
Unfortunately, I will have to paralyze you, Mr. Wright. Damn it! Ah, I must be on the wrong track? Hmm, I'm forgetting. I'm trying to see here. Right, Cody's camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Oh, just the camera! Oh, I overthought it, my bad. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, I'm bored with you. Oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Oh, God. It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. Well, explain that, damn old people. I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you would bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Uh, objection! Oh, no. Mr. Wright, how cruel you are. Jarrah is a poor child, so... I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Ooh. Well, Cody? But what? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So he did have it. Oh, he is standing on a box. So you did have a camera? And you did use this camera? What? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please just write to the court about what you were so busy watching. Okay, this is probably where the uh, path to glory thing comes in. Ah! I bet I jumped the gun a little bit. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Well, then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. It's right a cross examination. I was shorter than I thought it was going to be. Let's keep pressing to make sure. Though. He had his camera with him. Hold it! Yeah. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course! You didn't turn away? Not even once? Uh, no! Okay. Tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah! I'm getting to that! Please do. Hold it! Okay. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving! Hmm. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? But, well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How do you do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch! Samurai chop! Samurai slap! S something like that. Hmm, he's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! Hmm, how should I play this? I gotta get a little more out of him. Cody. What? what? Something's bothering me. Before, you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! Um, did you forget this is a murder trial, not a make-believe show? You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> exactly. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the CL Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part. The killing blow! Haha! <laughs> Order! Order! Mr. Wright! How would this be? Can you explain how we might miss something so vital? Um, well... Er, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think. Why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer! We've ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? I wonder... Maybe because it was a murder he couldn't watch it. Let's try that. Because he couldn't watch it. How would he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Oh, damn it. Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching this Neil Samurai fight, like on TV. The 
the more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, uh huh. I don't agree, Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We must have taken that he's still going to be fair to steal Samurai. Oh. Maybe evidence is the answer. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why do you look away from the fight? Ah, right. The new camera, I forgot about that. Here's my proof! What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Aha! Bullseye! What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smarter you realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right, Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Looks like it. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right, uh, yeah, it means business, jeez. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackett testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. Your ass is about to be grinding on stone. On some kind of stone. I don't know. It'll be coarse, though. Yeah, you're right, Pops. But still, there I just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. And the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed to the cross-examination anyway. Hmm. There's something hidden in here, and I'm gonna find it. Let's see. Hold it! He escaped from the clutches of the villain, huh? So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess Jill Samurai was moving a little strange. Hmm. Moving strangely? Interesting. The lens wouldn't open in time, I see. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground, and, and the steel samurai. Hmm. Hold it. That's all that happened, huh? That's all? Yeah! I told you, I didn't take a picture! Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? I gotta press him. Eh, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Bullseye? How'd you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers! Wow! Well, <laughs> this feels great! <laughs> Lying to a kid like this? Yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? It took a few shots, but it's too late, so I erased them. Hold it! Ah, that's what I'm looking for. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai, Victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm. He's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction suit or some solid evidence. How do I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. I think I do now. But, yeah, he took shots. Now is the time where if he won, Objection. you would have something. Now is when this comes into play. Cody! What, what, what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Yeah, he did say that. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Ha-ha! Mr. Wright, what's that news to show him? 
It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Or, or see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all those pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. And he clearly saw it happening, so... Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. <gasps> no! Wait! No way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia! Are we sure about this? Did he actually... Hmm... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what's going on here! Why was there no picture of the album the day of the murder? What would the boy have erased the photos he took? Hmm. It wouldn't. He probably wouldn't be making blurry. I don't doubt he raised my mistake. Ooh. That is. Hmm. That sounds interesting. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You, you mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he did take a picture. The same reason he erased his pr precious photos. Well, Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose, yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! You can't handle the truth, Cody! Oh, what a sad day. Order! I will have order! Witness! I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw! I... Oh, no. Haha! Ah! We were right! Holy crap! Cody, that day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Uh, okay, okay, you're right! The Steel Samurai just fell down! Then he didn't move! Ah! Oh, man. That's upsetting. Order! 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 What kind of stone are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim! Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell! Oh ho ho! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. Uh, an error? What's this all about? Hammer was the victim, and Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! Ooh! This is getting exciting! Order! 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 So, the Steel Samurai this photograph, you're saying this man in this costume is the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to shoot at one already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? That's right. On the day of the matter, I arrived to the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Oh, she just assumed that. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. Now, no one saw him go to Studio 1. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole a Steel Samurai costume. Ooh. Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Yeah? I thought it was Neil Samurai swimming strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. <gasps> data? Yeah, but photo of my digital camera. Oh, we need this. What? Show us, quick. No way, man, not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! Yeah, this is it. 
what do we have here? Hmm. Okay, not much is happening here. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be any one of the costumes. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This is decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Wh what? Your Honor! May I see that photo once more, please? C certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show them. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in this photo. Hmm. Something in notes. You see this over here? It looks like a two, doesn't it? Didn't the murder happen in Studio One? So that leads. That makes something odd show up. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? Oh! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but, th that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Who's this way so I might be shoved along with the rest of the court? I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here at Studio One. However, what do, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor! Here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Gee, I wonder. I guess it was here. It had to be. Here, at Studio Two. I see, that would explain the two on the gates in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. Because the path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 215, which means in other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time! Yes, yes, I suppose it would be the case! Remember Sal Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true! Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder! Aha! Uh -huh. They were the only ones with access to, this, to the scene of the crime! Studio 2! Ah! As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonello and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! Ah, so now those two are suspects. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I can love all this. I have proof. We, you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Harris stole a costume. There has been something that's been, well, sleeping pills. I was wondering what this bottle would be useful for. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The, this defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Ah. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. There's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Hmm. May as well fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <gasps> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. There you go. Enjoy it, Judge. Hopefully you use gloves. And don't get rid of those fingerprints, please. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. 
In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not to one, but she will too. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why did Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion, Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended till tomorrow. This is the last extension! So we're actually reaching the third day, huh? Very well. Court is adjourned! Woo! Wow. We learned some interesting facts. Apparently Jack Hammer is kind of a dick, too. Who thought? Woo! That was a close one. We were saved by hair. That's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. But me too! <laughs> really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha! Yeah, you guys should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead? <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. <laughs> wow. So that opens up doors a lot. So, it could be Vasquez, Manila, or any of the big wigs. Hmm. Well, I think I might have the feeling of who it might be amongst them. We'll find out, though. Come back next time, we shall conduct our final investigation to figure out, well, who the true murderer is. Hopefully. For Mr. Will Powers' sake, I hope I'm right.